Lee County man sits in prison tonight 20 years after he was caught with a small amount of cocaine. Convicted killers have spent less time behind, behind bars. Now his family's fighting to get him out, and even the prosecutors who put him behind bars agree the sentence was too much. NBC2 investigator Dave Elias uncovered what some are calling a major flaw in our justice system. Dave. Well, that's right, Kelly Peter. Michael Edwards received 60 years in prison back in 1994 after his third nonviolent drug offense. Now, when all is said and done, he'll cost taxpayers more than a million dollars. For the sake of our children, I implore each of you to be unyielding and inflexible. inflexible. You will be put away and put away for good. It was the early 90s, and Americans were adopting tough new policies on crime. Three strikes and you are out. Courts locking people up and essentially throwing away the key after their third offense. He's never been sentenced to any type of drug treatment program. He never was ever offered an opportunity to get a help for his addiction. Mimi Edwards' brother, Michael, had been charged twice with cocaine possession in the early 90s. I didn't know what it looked like, much less that he was involved. His mother, clueless to how serious her son's problem was until his third strike. In 1993, I sold a small quantity of cocaine to my ex-girlfriend to supply my past addiction. A half an ounce, or $850 to be exact, the state offered a deal, plead guilty, and serve 15 years. When I saw that, I just thought, well, you know what? Maybe I should just go ahead and go to trial with this thing and uh, see if I can win. It was literally um, a, a roll of the dice. I never expected that they were going to give me 60 years. As of today, I have served over 20 years in prison for these charges. My current release date is December of 2043. If you do not commute my sentence, I might have to serve another 29 years in prison. The same year Edwards was sentenced, this man went to trial. John Pike was found guilty of shooting his son-in-law seven times, killing him. He was given 20 years and is already out of prison. If somebody can look at me straight in the face and tell me that's fair, then something's definitely wrong. State attorney at the time, Joe D'Alessandro, argued for the sentence. And that was hailed in the community as a teach him a lesson. But now? The only uh, hope he has is a governor uh, commuting his sentence or giving him a, a pardon. What would you say to the governor? Let him go home. Let him out. He served his time. Will you consider clemency for Michael Edwards? The way the process works is he's going through the clemency process. It's based on state law. They'll do an investigation, then they'll present it to the cabinet and we'll make a determination. The clemency board meets in June. It's not clear if they'll consider Michael's case. How much more time do I need to do to pay my debt to society? Now, if Michael Edwards was sentenced under today's drug guidelines, he'd receive an average six years in prison. Without a pardon or a commuting of his sentence, he could still appeal, but that's going to take years and it could cost the family hundreds of thousands of dollars. Kelly? Dave, your, your heart breaks for his mother. Are, are cases like this rare or have you heard about other cases like Michael's? You know, digging through records, I actually found two other Florida inmates serving life sentences for drugs. Now, it's so serious around the country that President Obama has used his pardoning powers to free many of those serving life for drugs in federal prisons.